here inside the Raleigh County Convention Center for NAIA Men's Hoops, presented by Little General. It's West Virginia Tech and IU Kokomo, the Cougars, receiving votes in the latest NAIA coaches poll, 14-5, 8-1 in the River States Conference. These two teams in somewhat different spots in the RSC. Six and three are the Golden Bears. Eight and one are the Cougars. Along with NAIA national champion coach Bob Bolin, I'm Jake Griffith. Thanks for joining us here as part of this video productions coverage of NAIA Hoops. Jake, welcome to video productions. We're glad to have you. We're lucky to have you. And we got a good contest here today. We have a great contest and glad to be here with you, Coach Bolin. In the NAIA sort of ratings, 43rd out of 233 teams are the IU Kokomo Cougars who have rattled off three straight victories, six and one on the road this season. And Eric Eckelbarger, the head coach, has another talented group. Oh, Eric Eckelbarger knows how to coach. He, he learned from Harry Statham, who had over 1,000 wins at McKendree. And uh, he's one of the top young coaches. Well, I don't know if we call him young anymore, but he's one of the top coaches in the NAIA. And we have a battle of two young guys with he and George Wilmore that are both at the top of their craft. Starting lineups being introduced here in the Raleigh County Convention Center. Uh, Coach Bolin, turnovers today will be so crucial. Cougars 54th in the NAIA in turnovers forced per game. Meanwhile, West Virginia Tech has committed 15 or more in six straight games. Have to take care of the basketball. Well, in speaking with Eric Eckelbarger before the game, he told me defensively his team was really good. Uh, he says sometimes challenged offensively, but he'll – He'll, well, he didn't say that. He said they were better defensively, and uh, he likes to run sets in offense, but he likes to get the ball out in transition first. Eckelbarger going with a starting five of Hunter White, Darian Porch, Hunter Jackson, Xavier Hines, and Zach Reinert. As for West Virginia Tech, Andrew Work, Ashton Parker, Keandre King, Brent Smithers and Bryce Radford. The tip is up and won by the Cougars. West Virginia Tech starting out in their half court man to man defense. IU right, Kokomo 4 and 1 in their last five games, including a tight victory by three over Alice Lloyd. Hanging but can't hit is Hunter White. Both teams diving for the 50 50 ball. And we have a tie-up. Yeah, well, you'll see both of these teams on the ground fighting for loose balls, uh, both hard-nosed teams. Andrew Work will take it out from the side in front of us. Work 12th in the River States Conference in points per game. And, Bob, you can feel the atmosphere a little different for this one. Both teams really want this. There have been some great games in this series. There has, and this is a big game in the River States standings. Uh, Big game in the conference tonight. Tech picked to win the East Division in the preseason poll. Here's King taking it to the cup but can't finish. Boy, Porch with a great help block. Jackson will pull back out and reset. Now White. And down low to Porch. Crisp ball work here for IU Kokomo around the perimeter. White, the leaner, won't drop. One of the things IU Kokomo, they have to find three-point shooters in transition. And they did not. Bryce Radford knocks it in. 19% on the season. That's a welcome sign for West Virginia Tech. Yeah, Bryce Radford shoots the three, gets out in the open, and uh, able to knock it down.
Underneath, dumped off, but knocked away. Driving to the cup is working, lays it in. A strong start here for West Virginia Tech, 5-0 burst. That's what Andrew Work does. He's great in transition, and for a point guard, he really attacks the basket well. Jackson will pull the trigger and misses everything. A little nerves early on, perhaps, for IU Kokomo. They've missed a couple of yes. open shots. Yes, they have, and Bryce Radford, the Beckley products, had a lot of games in this gym. Uh, knocked down that big three to start the game. Parker has it now. The kick to the corner. Left short by Work. Back outside to Hines. Tried to drive and was denied. Right, here's Hunter White. Hey, West Virginia Tech's playing terrific defense to start this contest. Really locked onto their men. Jackson wanted the baseline drive. Shot clock reads three. White has to pull. Tough shot, and it won't go. Boy, you look at West Virginia Tech's bench, everybody up. Uh, they have great chemistry, a great culture here at Tech. Parker muscles his way in and puts it in. Parker, great move, good strong finish. Great start for the Golden Bears. A 7-0 run for the Golden Bears forces an Eric Eckelbarger timeout. Cougars will talk it over and we'll head to break. Ashton Parker. Every year, the big banks raise their fees while reducing the services they provide. How do they get away with that? If you were to join Pioneer Community Bank, your money would stay right here, supporting a local business which results in lower fees and better customer service for you. Sounds like a plan. So you're not really stuck with the big banks and their policies. Keep your money where it belongs, right here with Pioneer Community Bank. Pioneer Community Bank with locations in Beckley, Jaeger, Sophia, War, and Welch. Member FDIC. Back here inside the Raleigh County Convention Center, a 7-0 run to start this contest. Cougars looking for their first basket. Won't find it there. Tough defending by the Golden Bears. <laughs> oh, the, the best four-minute stretch that I've seen from them defensively this season. I mean, really locked in on the defensive end. Smithers fouled on the drive. It'll be on the floor, and the Golden Bears will take it out from the side. It's been somewhat of an up and down year through non-conference for West Virginia Tech, but George Wilmore right now, their head coach, has them sort of locked into this contest. Boy, they do. Uh, really look good to start this. Here's Radford again. Offline, too strong. That's just the third miss of the evening so far for West Virginia Tech. White, a whistle. Actually scratched that. That was Darian Porch who took it right to the cup. Yeah, Porch looking for the first points for IU Kokomo and uh, off to not the, not the start Coach Eckelberger wanted in this building. That was right the first time. It is Hunter White at the line. And White rattles that one home. A 67% <laughs> free throw shooter this year. You don't see a 13 and a 15. It's, it's both so starting, close. both the same height. <laughs> and we got to get that right. Yeah, 13 and 15. And there was Porch on the rebound. Yes. Well, and it didn't help. Porch was also wincing like he was the yeah. guy that got fouled. <laughs> Jackson has it on the wing. Now off the bounce. Shot clock at one, White pulls, can't hit. Tech looking for those threes in transition. Now when they're not there, they'll try to look for the mismatch, the one-on-one -on -one driving the gap and try to get their threes that way. Dribble handoff goes to Work, who surveys his options. Work stops. Pops and connects. Yeah, Andrew works good mid-range game, strong. Uh, tech up 9-0, Jake. Wow. A 9-0 run to start it. A 
Underneath, Reinhardt. Tech looking for the foul, and Reinhardt lays it in off the turn. Yeah, I, I thought it was the right no call. He, he almost blew it. The fist started to go up, but it looked like the defender failed before the contact, and uh, I thought the ref's right on top of that. This is kind of one of those games you want to let the guys play. Oh, a little yeah, bit. and they do. They find Smithers outside. He's double teamed. <laughs> From the parking lot, Radford rattles out. Yeah, he's got that kind of range. Back ahead, Jackson gives it up. Hines won't fall. Tough shooting evening to start. One of eight now for IU Kokomo. Jake, this is the best crowd for a Tech game that, I, that I've ever witnessed. I mean, tremendous crowd in here today. And they're involved, too. And they are. Left off for Work, and Work puts it in off the window. And Andrew Work just so strong for a point guard, and he'll post up. He drives to the basket, uh, leading the team in scoring. He just makes winning plays. Work, a preseason all-conference selection, a whistle and a traveling violation. Yeah, and, and Jake, the Mountain State University ties to this team. Andrew Work was going to these games when he was four years old. Mountain State and Coach Echo Barker played for McKendree in 2004, and they came in here and we gave them an L. <laughs> but I'm skipping 2003 when we went to McKendree, and I think it was Coach Statham's 800th win, and they had the cake already before oh. the game. They beat us in overtime, 88-87, but – uh, I had to. I had to tell the truth, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the truth will set you free, right? <laughs> hey, he was a great player there, Coach. Terrific player. Oh, nice shovel pass finds Joke. Radford driving, oh, spins oh. it in. Tough shot. Bryce Radford, sweet kiss off the glass. Tech is rolling. A little English on it for Radford. Ten point lead early. The up and the under from White will silence the crowd. Uh, that's actually porch. <laughs> I think the porch is painted white. We're just going to get <laughs> it right. For it. Yeah, uh, that was porch, a nice reverse. Coach Wilmore upset. Tech's first defensive mistake. Didn't find him in transition, and Kokomo made him pay. The friendly bounce for Smithers off the runner. Yeah, Grant Smithers, a freshman out of Kentucky. Yeah, boy, he's a great shooter now developing that go-to-the-basket game. A whistle and a foul called. Radford will get tagged with that. Oh, we're looking at that instant replay. Radford will put the English on the ball. Sweet kiss off the glass. And I think this big crowd's got them fired up. Fired up where Kokomo's second in the conference. Just a lot of things going on here at the Raleigh County Convention Center. Great crowd on hand for this ninth all-time meeting in this series. Offensive foul called. And we talked about it, Bob. There have been some great matchups in this series. Look back to last year, March 1st, 2022. Game played in the River States Championship. Oh, yeah. A 10-point win for IU Kokomo, who's won back-to-back -back now. And in this conference, the home team hosts the championship game. And that was a great game last year. Tech, Tech going into that game had four of their five starters injured and still made it to the, to the championship game. Here's Martin with it. Inside 10 to shoot. Now three on the clock. Oh. Over to Jope. And it rattles out. Yeah, Diop. He comes in the game as a shot blocker. And, you know, shoot him shooting at the end of the shot clock almost hit it. A little bunny underneath. No, second effort. Yes, Julian Hunter. Oh, I tell you what, Julian Hunter, quick second jump. Athletic and... Jake, I know you have a great NAI background. That's where you got your start. But these NAI teams are fun to watch. They're good. They are. And They're let good. me tell you what, they don't get enough credit for the level of basketball no. played at this at this level. And these two are playing near the top of the level. I mean, both of these two, especially in the River State Conference, uh, these two are always at the top of the list. Tried to go with the screen and roll game. Now out ahead to White. Finishes off the window. Good finish by White. Kokomo getting back into the game. Scoring off their defense, which the coach and staff told me before the game, they love to try to get points off of their defense. And fast break points at that as well. The 
Here's Radford with it. A whistle and a foul called against Chris Chen, the junior out of Indianapolis. That will take us to the media timeout here in the Raleigh County Convention Center. A good one brewing here. Kokomo back in it, down by six. Time is upon us, and Hometown Kia of Beckley wants to make your Christmas red, white, and green this year. Green in savings on a new Kia at Hometown Kia. Reindeer aren't a dependable form of transportation anymore, but an all-new Kia Telluride is. Right now, the staff at Hometown Kia are ready to step up and help Santa make your Christmas bright with a purchase or lease on a new Kia. Don't let the Grinch steal your Christmas savings. Keep that money in your stocking this year. Savings this big won't fit in Santa's bag. So you need to get out to Hometown Kia today or online at hometownkia.com. Here at the Cracker Barrel, homestyle food and great value go hand in hand with favorites like slow simmered chicken and dumplings starting at $7.99 or perfectly golden fluffy buttermilk pancakes with your own bottle of warm syrup. Come fill up on favorites without emptying your wallet. Cracker Barrel, take care now. A 15-9 lead for WVU Tech over IU Kokomo here in Beckley, West Virginia. Points in the paint have been crucial already, Coach Bolin. 18 combined, 10 for Tech, who had 34 points in their win against St. Mary of the Woods, 44 against Alice Lloyd. Yeah, these teams are playing their shooters, and they're able to get to the basket. You know, so far, the big stat difference, West Virginia Tech shooting 58% from the field, IU Kokomo only 33%. Parker backs his way down. Out to King. Right to the cup and gets fouled. And, and DeAndre King comes up lame. Yeah, and, and Jake, you know, you can see how teams have to play tech. Because of their three-point shooting ability, they have to hug the shooters when it opens up driving lanes. And they don't score much by throwing it in the paint to a guy with his back to the basket. They get their paint points off the bounce, off the dribble. King at the line, the first drops for the Wheeling, West Virginia native. 74% from the stripe. Was an all-state West Virginia pick, first team in high school. Oh, Wheeling Park, good player, solid. Uh, played in the Scott Brown All-Star game down here. Enjoyed watching him. The second, good as well. Lead sits at eight for the hometown team, West Virginia Tech. Noah Harris in the contest now. And gets it underneath, count it, and one. Yeah, Noah Harris, strong move to the basket. As we take a look at the little general instant replay, and a nice post-up move, nice finish, uh, strong inside. Harris came in during the timeout break, immediately paying dividends. A chance to convert the three-point play. Off the back oh, iron, oh. gets his own miss though, and draws another foul. Well, Jake Harris did not leave that free throw line until the ball touched the rim. And I, I know that George Wilmore's thinking, how did he get that far? <laughs> he had to left early, I don't think he did. Wow, what an athletic play. 6'6", sophomore out of Noblesville, Indiana. Dell DeMyers now, the junior out of Indianapolis. He'll give it up to Harris. Inside 10 to shoot. White, why Ooh. not? Connects on a three. Hand in his face, it doesn't matter. Wow, White knocked that down from deep. Uh, only made 10 threes on the year, 10 out of 46. He shot that with a lot of confidence. This isn't an IU Kokomo team that's particularly good at shooting the three, just 31%. Oh, and he uh, can't leave Tech open. And Tech answers the three with one of their own. Yeah. Uh, Darren Martin knocked down the three. Set out last year, injured, having a great year so far this year. Halfway done in this first half. At the stripe is Hunter. And now they give it back up to White. In stride, Jackson way off on that. Yeah. He's missed a couple of those threes wide, maybe a little early jitters. Well, and, and this arena, you know, a lot of these NAIA schools have a wall behind the basket. 
and you come here and you're shooting with an open background, it takes a little time. I know IU Kokomo came down early yesterday. They had a 1 o'clock practice in the arena here. So it's difficult to get used to. Parker has it now, picked up by Hunter. Nice find to the corner. Inside, outside work. Ball tapped away. Out in front, Jackson. Gets fouled in transition. Darren Martin can't believe it, and that will send Hunter Jackson to the line. Well, actually, the call worked out in Tech's favor because Noah Harris was sprinting the floor and would have had easy dunk on the miss. So uh, probably a good foul by Martin. But have you ever seen a foul that the players agreed with? <laughs> no. <laughs> <clears throat> Some they disagreed more than others. Jackson, a 64% shooter from the line. Scored 12 points last game. Leaves that one short. Right now, balanced scoring really from both teams. Five players have scored for IU Kokomo. All but one we've seen the floor have scored for Tech. Yeah. Just taking our text, Richard Gerald, the owner of the local Chick-fil-A's who supports athletics, watching from San Francisco today. The beauty of the internet, right? Yes, sir. You don't have to miss a game. He's a big sports guy here in Beckley. Wow. Bryce Radford with the floater. Tough take by Radford. It drops. Bryce Radford having a big first half. Now seven points to lead all scorers. Oh, I like him. Harris, the post hook goes. Wow, Noah Harris just taking it in there strong. I mean, whew, he's done a lot of good things. Providing a good spark off the bench is Noah Harris. Only averaging four a game. Well, he looks like a better player than four a game. Already at four as Radford fouled before the shot. Yeah, and back when we were talking about watching from San Francisco, well, it's just good when you have a community mm -hmm. that a lot of people grew up in and have had success, and they give back to these local athletes. Involved but, community. Yes, and he's not one that just gives, but he's at every game. Right. Shady games, Woodrow games, girls games, volleyball games. I mean, that's the kind of people that help make this com community grow. And my dad ran the YMCA here, Jake. Yeah. And so community means a lot to me here. So I'm very appreciative of those kind of people. Well, hey, and sports <coughs> is the great equalizer, too. Well, it brings look, everybody together. I mean, I'm just, I can't get over this crowd here tonight. I mean, this is – I know this is your first game. This is by far the biggest crowd that – ever at these games. It's and a, they're vocal. Oh, a great crowd. <clears throat> Martin has it inside 10 to shoot. Clock down to one, pulls up. Misses everything on that. DeMeyer's running the floor. Harris gets fouled, almost dunked it home, but he'll head to the line for two free throws. Now, Harris... On the other end, hit Parker in the face, in the elbow with his nose <laughs> on that shot. I don't know if we have a replay of that, but on the shot down there, uh, Harris. I, mean, I don't know who the foul would be on because it was in his shooting motion, but uh, yeah, Harris hit him in the elbow with his face, <laughs> and then Harris sprinted the floor ahead of everybody. What a tremendous play! Makes the first free throw. Now up to five points above his season average. And I you know, said it a minute ago, Bob, he's really providing a good spark off the bench, key to this comeback for IU Kokomo. You know, only averaging 14 minutes a game. I bet he gets more than that this game. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. He's brought him back in the game. <clears throat> Makes the second two for two on that trip. Up to six points. He'd been scoreless in his last three games. I'd have to see those guys. He's playing great. Wow. And this is how you buy yourself more minutes the rest of the season. Really yeah. thrown away by Tech. Martin knifing, gets fouled by Harris. Yeah, Martin quick off the dribble. Little Euro step. Uh, Harris with pretty good defense there. Got it with a body contact there at the end. This will put Darren Martin at the line. Eric Eckelbarger over on the IU Kokomo sideline disagreed with the call. But yeah, that was a close one, Jake. Let's take a look at it here. Martin on the drive. 
Ooh, it didn't get him on the shot. Could have been some body contact before he elevated. But great job by our video production staff here on these instant replays. The second drops for Martin. Echelbarger had, a, I think, a great quote back at RSC Media Days talking about his team's mentality. He said, we have to find a way to be mentally, physically tough every night. We know what we've done. We're going to get team's best shot every single night, and they're getting it tonight. And that's why the crowd's like this, defending champs. Uh, that one won't go high off the glass, and the rebound snatched by work. Right, this is an IU Kokomo team. They were in the Sweet 16 last year. Oh, it's a good team. I'll tell you what, West Virginia Tech has a good basketball team and it's showing, and they love to shoot those three-pointers. Luke Voss in and out. Hines will feed it down low to Harris. Turning, faces <laughs> up and drills it. He looks like an all-conference player. <laughs> I mean, wow, big time spin move, great elevation, good follow through, did it all right. The confidence just growing for Harris as this game goes on. Martin pulls the trigger on a three, and it won't drop. Back out up top to White with 20 on the clock. White turns the corner. Back to Harris. Hunter, face-up jumper, no good. Boy, look at Harris diving on the floor. Jake, I saw Harris in the middle of the play asked to be taken out, and here he goes. You got it, young man. You're having the game of your life. <laughs> you don't ask to come out. Now when he walks by, Coach, I said, now, Coach, you remember the time you said if we asked to come back, come out, <laughs> you, we can tell you when we're ready to come back in. <laughs> oh. He, he scored eight today. Now the third time this year he's had eight, had a season-high nine earlier this year. Well on pace to set a new season high. Well, it'd be hard for me to ask to come out. I had eight in the first half. White, Euros to the lane and gets fouled. Yeah, well, both of these teams evenly matched. Uh, game being played at a high level. White's got some real high-end speed as well. Turned the Jets on yes, and flew did. down the lane. Yes, and work came over with a little body contact on the foul. A timeout called. We'll take a break here. 24-21, three-point lead for the Golden Bears over IU Kokomo. Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. Well, they get you. Twenty-four, twenty-one lead for West Virginia Tech over IU Kokomo. Leading scorer for IU Kokomo, Noah Harris. Eight points to lead all scorers. Seven players for IU Kokomo have scored. As we take a look at our keys to victory for, for West Virginia Tech, Bob, the Golden Bears defense has been so-so in conference play. Sixth fewest points per game during RSC play. But they allowed St. Mary the Woods to shoot 45%. They're allowing opponents to shoot 42% from the field during league play. Yeah, and, and today they've been tremendous on defense. I mean, been locked in, team team defensive goals have been good and uh, really good start for, for Tech defensively, especially in this contest. Hunter White made both free throws for IU Kokomo. We said the Cougars earlier needed to cause havoc. 54th. There's havoc. <laughs> in turnovers <laughs> As forced. you say it. <laughs> Another one right to the oh. cup. He raced. Yeah, and that was not goaltending, Parker. Great block. A little too fast, got out of control, and <laughs> ball knocked away. I love it when I speak things into existence like that. 
Yeah, uh, DeMyers is looking over at the bench going, he won the goaltending call, let's look. Nah, he took it to the glass, and uh, one of the assistant coaches would point at him, take it to the hole stronger. <laughs> I like that. Cougars have already forced four tech turnovers in this first half. They forced 23 as that laid up and in. Yeah, Andrew Work is upper body. So much strength when he goes to the hole. He can just bump people with his chest. They get off balance and he elevates over them. That's a weight room bucket right there. Cougars forced 23 turnovers against St. Mary of the Woods. 51 combined in the last three games. Wow. 49th in the country in steals as White steps into one. Hey, what White looks good stepping into those three pointers again. Only had ten before the year started. That's his second today. Wow, nothing but the bottom of the net. Two for two from distance. Ten points today for Hunter White. How do you go ten for forty six with beef like that? <laughs> Balance eyes, elbow, and follow through. Well, what do you always say? Big time players make big time shots. <laughs> exactly. Radford has it with five. Wow. Great Extra pass passing. and turned away by Porch. Well, great passing and Porch just closed the Porch door, baby. Straight away three. Porch Ooh. rattles one in. Cougars take their first lead. Wow. Porch with the block and then the three. Kokomo's heating up. It was a 9-0 start, wasn't it, for Tech? Wow. Radford drives nice and pass. kicks. Rattles out on the tray. White will pull down the miss. In stride, Hines again. Oh, timeout. Time for a timeout. Ooh. Cougars are white hot from beyond the arc. <laughs> Three straight threes, and they have a five-point lead. Xavier Hines knocking it down from deep. That'll take us to break. Inside four to play in this first half. Cougars have come back. They lead it. General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. That's nearly 50 years of providing those essential needs for your daily journey. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. We know these last couple years haven't been easy, but with every sunrise and sunset, you keep us going. To the LG family, the moms, dads, sisters, brothers, sons, and daughters of West Virginia, thank you. West Virginia Tech took a timeout to try to quell this quick run Ooh. from IU Kokomo back to back to back trays. Oh, quick run. I mean, started with the steal and then they didn't get the goaltending call. And then the threes just started raining here on Kokomo's side. You know, that's a credit to what type of team they are. To get ambushed to start the game down 9 nothing, and then they're on a 31 to 17 run since that point. <clears throat> Three-point shooting, we mentioned it, not something IU Kokomo known for. They've shot under 30 in four of their last six games, 59th worst in the country in terms of percentage. Yeah, and it's how Tech's, Tech is playing them to stop the drive. So they're giving them the threes, and not really giving them, but they're making plays and hitting threes. Well, on the other end, Kokomo is trying to stop Tech's threes. So they're driving, so both coaches are great defensive strategies. This has been a great chess match to watch from a coaching standpoint. King will drive. Baseline work gets fouled, and he'll head to the free throw line. That was just a great example of knowing your personnel. Like when King drove, everybody else on Tech's team that would be behind that perimeter would be staying, looking for a three. But when it's work, he's going to start floating to that basket to use his explosion watch. See, look, work started going towards the hoop, and great pass by King, good job by work, getting to the free throw line. Andrew Work, 12th in the conference in points per game average, has eclipsed double figures 14 times on the year as he misses the first free throw, has eight today with four rebounds. Yeah, I think if Andrew Work gets in that gym this summer, works on that three some, that's an easy thing to work on. And I think he can make some money playing this game. The second one, no good either. Oh, Tech showing zone. So George Wilmore coming out of the timeout, going to a 
more of a 3-2 zone. Hines the corner three. Two trays today for Xavier Hines. Well, Hines had those feet set. Uh, great three-point shooter when he gets those feet set. It's just great coaching. They see zone. Who do they go to? Their three-point shooter, Hines. King, kick to the corner. Back to him with 10 to shoot. Spotting up is Smithers for three off the back iron. Okay, he's George Wilmore telling him to get back. If they're going to that zone, uh, look for IU Kokomo to go to Hines. He's shooting 44%. And that's what's good coaching. You go to your best, you look for your best three-point shooter. If he's covered, then you go to your options. Hines is running the baseline in this. Tech made a great adjustment. Top of the key. White thought about the three. It's an eight-point lead for IU Kokomo. Tried to thread the needle into the middle and miscommunication. Cougars get it back. That three off the back iron. Great hustle. New 20 for IU Kokomo. Hines wide open. Oh. In and out. Well, we, even his misses look good. Big time shoot. You know, basketball is not an equal opportunity sport. The best shooters should shoot. Woo! Parker shoot right to the cup. Yeah, Parker. He's got a great spin move going to the hole. So much balance and grace and uh, able to convert. Eric Eckelbarger will take time for IU Kokomo. A nifty move here for Parker. Put him in the spin cycle. <laughs> we'll head to break. 34-28 lead for the Cougars. A former college football player, I realized that sports-related injuries can happen real fast. Hello, I'm Dr. Gross. If your child or grandchild is dealing with sports-related injuries, or maybe you're dealing with something that just won't go away, call me today and I can help you get back on the playing field. To better serve you, see us at one of our three locations in Beckley, Whipple, and Sophia at the numbers listed below. So take care of yourself. You deserve it. Right. 34-28 lead for IU Kokomo, who trailed by as many as nine in this contest, Bob, but they've come all the way back thanks to the three ball. Yes, and George Wilmore, another change, going back to man-to-man, -to -man, uh, trying to keep Kokomo off balance. Great matchup of these two coaches here, both having great years. Cougars set in their half-court motion. Porch back out to White, and he'll get it back with four on the clock. That post hook <laughs> turned away by Jope. Handoff goes to Radford. Shot clock reads 10 for Bryce Radford. Pulls the trigger. King Whoa. splashes it in. Uh, you got two good shooters there in the pick and pop. Great job by Tech. King knocks it down. The lead for IU Kokomo is three inside a minute to go in this first half. White gives it up. White has 10 today. Hunter faces up and connects. That's, that's a hard move over the shot blocker. Great job there by Julian Hunter. Hunter had a career high 29 points against Brescia earlier this season. And George Wilmore will take a timeout. As we look at Hunter on the fadeaway. A beautiful move. Quick break here in Raleigh County. We'll be back. General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. That's nearly 50 years of providing those essential needs for your daily journey. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. We know these last couple years haven't been easy, but with every sunrise and sunset, you keep us going. To the LG family, the moms, dads, sisters, brothers, sons, and daughters of West Virginia, thank you. 
A five-point lead for the visitors from Kokomo, Indiana. Inside 20 seconds to go here in this opening half. And it's been a back-and-forth battle so far. Oh, great game. These games are so enjoyable to do when you, know, you have a hard-fought contest, two good teams. Uh, enjoying this one, Jake. Shot clock is off for the Golden Bears. Andrew Work will go to work. Negotiates to the lane and back to the corner. Smithers hangs, can't hit the tip in at the buzzer. Ashton Parker tips it in. What a way to end the half. Now, if the refs want to come and check it, they're welcome. We'll let them see our monitor, but guess what? It's good, baby. Great job, Parker. Releases it, and then you see the red. Plenty of time before the red lights on the backboard illuminate, and that will send us to the half. A three-point lead for IU Kokomo. Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports, we power your work and your adventure. City National Bank, where you can purchase or refinance your home with the No Down Payment Champion Mortgage. No down payment, no private mortgage insurance, no kidding. Visit your local branch to get started today. City National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. To learn more, log on to mortgage.bankitcity.com. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. Here at the Cracker Barrel, home-style food and great value go hand-in-hand hand with favorites like slow-simmered chicken and dumplings starting at $7.99 or perfectly golden fluffy buttermilk pancakes with your own bottle of warm syrup. Come fill up on favorites without emptying your wallet. Cracker Barrel, take care now. Dad, what is a backflow prevention device? Well, it's a device that's used to protect water supplies from contamination or pollution in homes or businesses. Is that why you were talking to that man? Well, he was a certified plumber from Modley's Plumbing and Heating. Modley's is fully licensed and insured in testing, installation, and service of backflow prevention devices. I just call 304-253-HELP, and they'll take care of it the right way. I thought it was something for the car, so Mom wouldn't hit the house again when she was backing up. Unlock the money already in your home at City National Bank. Consolidate loans or fund your next big project with a home equity line of credit with a great low intro rate. Visit your local branch to get started. City National Bank, member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Learn more at homeequity.bankitcity.com. Nachos, better with Pepsi. A three-point lead for IU Kokomo here at the half in Raleigh County Convention Center along with former NAIA, NAIA National Champion Coach Bob Bolin. I'm Jake Griffith. Bob, it's been a great first half. <laughs> IU Kokomo stormed all the way back to take the lead. I've enjoyed this half. I mean, I, I, Tech came out on fire, hitting three-pointers, getting defensive stops. They held IU Kokomo scoreless for the first 352 of this game. And, and then all of a sudden the light switched on and here comes Kokomo back for a fight. Kokomo takes the lead. Then here at the end of the half, here comes Tech back. So we have two heavyweights going at it and both teams playing great basketball. This one, a big one in the River States Conference. Eight and one are the Cougars, six and three are the Golden Bears. Golden Bears have had to maybe change their style of offense to deal with this Cougar defense. They came into this 33rd in the country in three-point percentage, but in that first half, Bob, 16 points in the paint. Yeah, and it's, it's ex West Virginia Tech is taking what the defense gives them, and IU Kokomo, uh, Coach Echelbarger told me before the game, you know, you, 
He said he was going to trust his process on his rotations, but he doesn't want to get in rotations. They don't want to get beat off the bounce because when you get into your rotations against Tech, they're able to get good looks at three, and they have numerous players that knock down the three ball. Points in the paint, 16-12 in favor of West Virginia Tech. There haven't been too, too many turnovers, Bob. Four points off turnovers for either team. And we came into this saying that we thought turnovers would be key. Only seven in that first half. Well, that is key. Both of them are taking care of the ball. And if I'm not mistaken, two of Kokomo's have been shot clock violations. Mm -hmm. So both teams doing a good job of taking care of the ball. You know, it's getting that time of year where the top teams step up and uh, teams that are still committing turnovers 24, 25 a game aren't ready at this time of year. So good teams, well-coached teams step up at this time of year. Kokomo getting a lot from their bench, 12 points, and a large part of that is the play of Noah Harris. Wow. He's been impressive in limited minutes. Yeah, I'm just upset with him for asking him to come out. <laughs> Didn't get back in either, did he? He did not. Wow. You know, there may be a little more to it. There could be something physical or he's just coming back from injury that we don't know about. But as well as he was playing, and I believe when he asked to come out, I'd say, can, can you just sit out for 30 seconds? Can you go get a deep breath and a cold water? Uh, but now let's think about it. IU Kokomo did make the barrage of threes after he came out. So he was playing great, and then the team played good the last six minutes when he came out. So uh, not questioning either one of these coaches. Both of them doing a great job and uh, not about to do that. Both teams short, shooting north of 45%. Kokomo 46 West Virginia Tech 52 right on the nose. It's a three-point lead for the visitors from Kokomo, Indiana. We'll head back to break here inside the Raleigh County Convention Center. Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. Christmas time is upon us, and hometown Kia of Beckley wants to make your Christmas red, white, and green this year. Green in savings on a new Kia at hometown Kia. Reindeer aren't a dependable form of transportation anymore, but an all-new Kia Telluride is. Right now, the staff at hometown Kia are ready to step up and help Santa make your Christmas bright with a purchase or lease on a new Kia. Don't let the Grinch steal your Christmas savings. Keep that money in your stocking this year. Savings this big won't fit in Santa's bag. So you need to get out to hometown Kia today or online at hometownkia.com. first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. Tire Pros. Hassle-free. Guaranteed. Auto Mall, West Virginia's largest GMC Buick dealer, is a proud sponsor of West Virginia high school athletics and our area student athletes. Beckley Auto Mall, with three locations for your convenience. 3934 Robert C. Bird Drive in Beckley, 199 Rogers Street, Princeton, and 368 Seneca Trail in Fairley. Plus, you can shop 24-7 at BeckleyAutoMall.com. Beckley Auto Mall and West Virginia student athletes, a winning combination. GMC, we are professional grade. A three-point lead here for IU Kokomo over West Virginia Tech. As we take a look at the goings-on around the River States Conference, 
Midway in Indiana tipping off at 3 Eastern time. No score reported there. We'll bring that to you as soon as we have it. Right now, though, halfway done in the first half between Rio Grande and Oakland City. Bob, that's a great matchup between two tough River State's teams. Rio Grande, a five-point advantage right now. Yeah, Ryan Arrowwood at Rio Grande's had them up near the top the last few years doing a tremendous job. And as we take a look at some storylines around the River States Conference, talking about Rio Grande, a storm brewing there for the Red Storm. They've won four of their last five, including handing IU Kokomo their lone loss in River States play. Wow, that's a huge win for, for Rio. I mean, this is a solid team here at Kokomo. Receiving votes in the NAIA coaches poll, 12 votes to be exact, 11th best scoring defense in the NAIA. A defense, as they say, wins championships. Yeah, I'll tell you, Raul Grand, a former assistant of mine, Ryan Arrowwood, really proud of him, doing a great job. Raul Grand right now 9-1 and one in conference play, out in front in the West Division behind them, Point Park, who has won five straight. They've exploded offensively in the last four games. Not known for scoring, 131st in the country, but they put a season high 102 on Brescia last game, 80 points in nine of their last 10. Wow. And then they, they got off to a really slow start this year. Uh, Point Park getting it done. IU Kokomo will host Carlo, and then after that, they'll face the Pioneers of Point Park. That'll be an exciting one. Boy, these conference games. <laughs> The further you get or the closer you get to March, the more important it seems the games are. And I know each game counts the same, but, boy, when it gets late in the season, you get a loss and you see you drop from second to fifth. <laughs> oh, it just kills you. West Virginia Tech took down Point Park earlier this year back in November here in Beckley, West Virginia. 61-57 uh, victory in that one. We'll head back to break here. Three-point lead for IU Kokomo, 36-33 over the Golden Bears. Every year, the big banks raise their fees while reducing the services they provide. How do they get away with that? If you were to join Pioneer Community Bank, your money would stay right here, supporting a local business which results in lower fees and better customer service for you. Sounds like a plan. So you're not really stuck with the big banks and their policies. Keep your money where it belongs, right here with Pioneer Community Bank. Pioneer Community Bank with locations in Beckley, Jaeger, Sophia, Moore, and Welch. Member FDIC. Christmas time is upon us, and hometown Kia of Beckley wants to make your Christmas red, white, and green this year. Green in savings on a new Kia at hometown Kia. Reindeer aren't a dependable form of transportation anymore, but an all-new Kia Telluride is. Right now, the staff at hometown Kia are ready to step up and help Santa make your Christmas bright with a purchase or lease on a new Kia. Don't let the Grinch steal your Christmas savings. Keep that money in your stocking this year. Savings this big won't fit in Santa's bag. So you need to get out to hometown Kia today or online at hometownkia.com. Welcome to Allstate. You already paid for car insurance. Why not take your home along for the ride? Allstate. Here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Call a local agent or 1-800-ALLSTATE for a quote today. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> you have a goal. You know what you want. Start with us. New River Community and Technical College, your community college. Take classes online or in a classroom in Beaver, Lewisburg, Summersville, or Princeton. Or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs. Find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal. It's closer than you think when you start with us. New River Community and Technical College. Apply today. Back here inside the Raleigh County Convention Center, a 36-33 lead for IU Kokomo, the Cougars over West Virginia Tech, the Golden Bears. We talked about it at the top of our broadcast, along with Bob Bolin, I'm Jake Griffith. We talked about it at the top of our broadcast about the matchups these teams have had. No team has won more than two games consecutively 
in this series. It has been evenly matched back and forth. Yeah, and, and we had all this pregame stuff ready to go, and the power went out. <laughs> and now you, you think about this. Sidney Mayo and Robbie Mounts got everything working within two minutes. I mean, we had a total power failure over here, and everything back up and running within two minutes. You wouldn't even know it. No. No. Nope. No, I, they think – I don't know if people said, boy, the announcers got quiet there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, I think it's lived up to everything that you had in your notes, Jake, about the pregame, about the history of these two teams. The first half lived up to it, and now will the second half. That's the question. Can IU Kokomo pull away, or will West Virginia Tech continue to answer these Cougar runs that we've seen? Well, if, if I had to – put a little bet on this I'd say it's going to be a hard fight game down to the end you know both of these teams are just too well prepared both good teams uh it's a it's a really even evenly matched up contest it's the fifth meeting here inside the convention center in Raleigh County the first ever meeting played in Montgomery West Virginia West Virginia Tech won that by four. We're back underway. Cougars start the half with the basketball and the lead. And Tech showing that 3-2 zone. I didn't expect to see that. White had 10 first half points. The kick to the corner. Offline from Hines. And that's who Kokomo wants to get the shot. All right, Jake, I'm going to see how far you went back in history. And you're not going to get this one right. The pro who played 14 years in the NBA from West Virginia Tech. My dad watching in Canada is going to give me a call about this after because he's told me this name a million times. Oh. A deep three from Smithers, and we're tied at 36. Well, the reason I say it, he lit me up when we played him. <laughs> Sedell three. Yes. End up play all. Oh, what a player. Yeah, your dad will get you straight on that one, Jake. <laughs> to my father, I apologize because he has said that name a million times, literally. A whistle and a foul underneath, and that will put the Cougars at the free throw line. Yeah, he was a West Virginia Tech legend, and I still had another year in college afterwards, and, you know, there wasn't all the draft and everything. He was a late round, like seventh round. Now there's only three. And he said, coming from West Virginia Tech, I was dribbling down the lane. I saw Dr. J on my right, Moses Malone on my left, and I thought I was in heaven. <laughs> uh, a lot of history with West Virginia Tech. Porch missed the first. You know, I think if I were to drive down the lane and see Dr. J and Moses Malone on the other side of me as the second spins out, I don't know if I think I was in heaven. I think I might be afraid I was going to get my shot rejected <laughs> into the third row. Uh, then again, that's why I'm here and not on the floor. we are doing a great job here. We're having fun with this one. King will take it off the bounce. Back to Radford. Oh. Oh, beautiful step back. Oh. Can't knock it in. Yeah, good looking step back there. You know, all of his shots are on balance and solid. Texan will stay with this three, little three two zone. Nice find underneath, little contact. Porch couldn't finish. Three off the front yeah. of the rim from King short. Yeah, Tech got two good looks from two of their better shooters, unable to convert. They're even going back to that 3-2 on misses. A whistle on an offensive foul called away from the ball. I, I got to see that one, Jake. I, just first look, I thought it was incidental contact. Legs tangled up. Let's take a look at it. Yes. Now on the bottom left block. Oh, boy, referees. Man, we got the, we got the monitor. Referees saw that right on it. Wow. Good job, officials. Right That's the last time I'll say that tonight. <laughs> Good job, officials. Right on top of it, baby. Work lobs it in down low, batted away. As Parker slow to get up. Mm -hmm. Jackson right to the cup. No, the putback. Yes, Zach Reinhardt. Yeah, they're letting him play on both ends. Coach Wilmore was livid. Uh, he thought Parker got fouled on that one, but letting him play on both ends. Work kick back outside to King. It was tipped away. Closing in on 10 to shoot here for the Golden Bears. 
Radford off balance, no good. Yeah, great defense by Kokomo there. Here's White, full head of steam, won't go. It is tough sledding in the interior today for both these teams. Kokomo Garden Work, who is the point guard for Tech with their four man. He's kind of staying in the lane. Work's going to have to knock that mid-range jumper. And he's still able to get to the basket. That's when you know you can get to the basket. Parker, a little drive-by drop-off for Andrew Work, who gets fouled. And that will put Andrew Work at the free throw line. Shooting much better this year. Uh, I think around 76%, if I take a guess. Okay, Dan missed a couple last game. Down to 73% uh, on the year up from in the 50s last year. So he's worked on that part of his game and become a very reliable three, uh, free throw shooter. Work the native of Oak Hill, West Virginia. The first rattles through. Mentioned earlier, preseason River States Conference selection. Had a 30-point game in the opener, 29 against Oakland City. Instant offense for Andrew Ward. Yes, he gets to the basket. And a person you know from Oak Hill, Cornelius Jackson. Yes, yeah, assistant coach for Marshall. Former player of the year in the state of West Virginia. <coughs> coach Corny, they call him. He's as good as they come as the second goes for Andrew Work as well. Oh, look, putting Diop at the top of that 3-2 zone. Little inside-outside work. Jackson left it short. Another offensive board for Reinhardt. Muscling in is Porch. Post hook won't go. Work again, hard collision, and he goes down. IU Kokomo struggling in the paint to start the second half. That's the third or fourth miss they've had right underneath. Right underneath. And he actually got off the ground before Diop did there. But you see, you know, Andrew Work, what he makes up for some of his outside shooting, he's a point guard that can rebound with the other team's center. I mean, he gets in there with the – well, he is a big boy. I mean, he's a big point guard, but he's so athletic and so explosive that he does a lot of things that don't show up on the stat sheet. 5.1 <laughs> rebounds per game for Andrew Work. Extremely high for a point guard. Work. Knifing into the lane. He'll get it back. Goes right <laughs> to the cup and finishes. Yeah, he's so good at that. and Got to stay between work and the basket. Great finish, Andrew Work. Harris set to check in for Kokomo at the scorer's table. I bet he don't ask to come out again. <laughs> Cougars are hoping he'll give them that same boost he gave them in the first half. Here's Jackson. They're doing a good job closing out on Hines, yeah. an offensive foul call. Yeah, you got to get set. Uh, you know, that's the difference in that ghost pick that people set now. I think he got caught trying to set a ghost pick, and then there was a collision. Yeah, and I think that's what the assistant coach is over there talking with him right now. And uh, a lot of shooters like to set ghost pick because their man hesitates to see if he's going to switch, and boom, those shooters pop out and knock down the three. Golden Bears with a two-point advantage. They've won 21 straight home conference games since 2019. Their last loss against IUK in the RSC semis back in 2019. Here's Work, the floater. No good. You hear a stat like that, 21 straight home conference wins. Meanwhile, IU Kokomo 13 and two in their last 15 road conference oh, games. Got a good game here. I mean, so it's and, the something's got to give. Yeah, and George Wilmore and Eric Echelbarger look like they could go play one on one too. <laughs> Both of them still in great shape. Echelbarger just leapt up off the bench. <laughs> Chin gives it up to White. Bullets one in down low. Hunter, the gather, turned away by Diop. Diop, that's what he's known for, his shot blocking. The human eraser now in transition, Smithers. Oh, good pass. Finds King. It's true. That's what they like to do. Beat you, draw the help, and knock down the three, Keandra King. The fifth made three of the night for West Virginia Tech, five for 13. 
Harris in the game now. Goes There's up. <laughs> There's that guy. <laughs> Noah Harris able to draw the foul, and he'll head to the free throw line. On the replay, Smithers hits King. King knocks it down. And one thing it is worth noting, Noah Harris did not have his left calf bandaged up that heavily in the first half. Now has it significant padding around the bottom of it. It may have been why he has to come out. He's got those yellow, orange, gray shoes. You've got to be able to play when you wear shoes like that. If you're tough enough, brave enough to put those sneakers on. <laughs> Not like the old days, right, where everybody <laughs> wore team-colored sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> he missed the first mm -hmm. one. Still, though, Harris, eight points today, has one rebound. The second is true. Three for five now from the charity strike. Yeah, Harris only shooting 39% on the season from the charity strike. So looks like a weakness, but not tonight. None of his weaknesses are being exposed tonight. Work gets the screen. Whistle and a foul called. Yeah, and you see how far Kokomo's playing off work. Well, instead of him just staying outside the three-point line and being a passer, he still attacks them. When somebody's that far off of you and giving you the three, but you don't want to shoot it, if you go fast at him, you got a chance to go right around him. Uh, work, you know, playing smart basketball. They get it into work off the baseline inbound. And watch him. He'll, he'll just keep inching down. Good kick out. Smithers, too strong. And a whistle underneath. Diop able to lure Harris into the foul. Yeah, referee, good angle, right on it. Uh, had Harris with the push off before he went after the rebound. Golden Bears shooting 48% right now, and they get it back into work. Andrew worked 12 points tonight. A little shimmy, the shake and bake won't, got, won't drop. Yeah, work went for the offensive rebound, and um, looks like he got Julian Hunter in the eye, incidental with the finger in the eye. Good to see Hunter back up. He collapsed immediately just about. Yeah. Now, we've seen LeBron do that sometimes when he doesn't get hit. I had to do you that way, Jay. <laughs> and I, I think there was definitely contact there. I saw, I won't do that again. <laughs> hey, listen, I had Michael Jordan posters in my bedroom I, I when I was you. a kid. So. <laughs> Hunter leaves it off. Look at Harris him. drills the mid-range. I mean, he's been phenomenal. The mid-range, a lost art in today's game, not for Noah Harris. Yeah, and he's backpedaling like, he, like he's done it, like he knows he's going to do it. Playing with supreme confidence. Up to 10, new season high for Harris. Three oh. rattles out. Boy, that looked good from Smithers. The angle we had, I thought that was going down. Demires has it, gets the screen, and launches a three. Up ahead, King pushing the pace and pushes it a little too much. All thrown out. You know, Jake, we've done a lot as we look at the last kick out. Knocks it down again. Noah Harris. They've done a lot of these tech games. And, I mean, this is one of the first where I say the talent level is equal. I thought tech's been better than almost everybody that's come in here. Now, this team right here, this is a battle of two solid teams. And I can see how Kokomo's the defending champs. And I can see how Tech will challenge for that this year. Harris, strong rip through. Here goes White. Diop. Met at the point by Diop. The hoop and the harm. Yeah, and you can tell the experience of White going at the shot blocker, getting it thrown back in his face, but he didn't care. Just took it back up again and has the opportunity for and one. The ability to recover the ball, too, after getting it rejected. Yeah, and it was a collision. Diop got hit in the face. Got knocked off balance on the block, incidental contact. And uh, tell you what, Hunter White's ability to drive the basketball is very impressive. 
White can't convert the conventional three-point play. It's tipped uh -oh. back out. Hines, too strong. That's now four straight misses from three after hitting three straight. Boy, when he had a good look at that after an offensive rebound, I thought that was money. Darren Martin in the contest now. Size mismatch. The longer Harris switched on to him. Martin spinning, fading, and fouled. Yeah, got into the body of Harris. Nice, smart play by Martin. Uh, Jake, you and I have done numerous D1 games together, and when you look, a lot of these players have the ability to play at that level. Absolutely. I mean, the difference, you know, may be the wings for Kokomo that are slashing in there are 6'3", where some of the D1 rings are 6'5". I mean, like Bryce Rafford's shooting ability and playmaking ability mm -hmm. can play, but a lot of the D1s are 6'2 that do that. But a lot of these players have D1 ability without a doubt. I always say it, if you can ball, you can ball no yes. matter what level. Yes, yes. First free throw missed for Martin, second converted. It's a one-point West Virginia Tech lead. Nice swing and the put in. I'm just, I'm so impressed by Harris. I mean, he's been the most impressive player to me, and he plays 14 minutes. So, obviously, well, this is his highest scoring game of the year, right? It he, is. He's playing great. And then Parker's just been playing like that. <laughs> Laid up oh. and in. Took a lot of contact, but Parker able to finish. Yeah, Parker's been doing that all year. Explosive to the basket. Good handles for a big man. I love his game. Harris has 13. Oh, five in this half. Nice move by Hunter. Had it knocked away. Yeah, quick first step. Wow. Woo, we have a good one going, Jake. 11 and a half minutes to go. Back and forth they go. Home team leads it by one here in Beckley, West Virginia. General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. That's nearly 50 years of providing those essential needs for your daily journey. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. We know these last couple years haven't been easy, but with every sunrise and sunset, you keep us going. To the LG family, the moms, dads, sisters, brothers, sons, and daughters of West Virginia, thank you. Thank you so much. We're back inside the Raleigh County Convention Center. One point lead for West Virginia Tech over IU Kokomo, who received three votes in the latest NAIA coaches poll, the fourth poll of the year. This is a good IU Kokomo team, and right now, Bob, in this second half, the Golden Bears have had an answer for them. Oh, well, they have. I mean, West Virginia Tech's had a tremendous second half. Now, Jake, I want you to go look at the history of those polls. There's a big thing on NAI, and it says who's been number one the most since the year 2000. Can I take a wild guess? Take one. Mountain State. And we haven't had a team in 10 years. <laughs> and we're still up. I think the next closest is 17 away. I may die with that one. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> okay, I quit. Some records are meant to stand forever. <laughs> as that knocked away, but a kicked ball violation will keep it here with IU Kokomo. Yeah, I tell you, so impressed by West Virginia Tech's ability to just keep fighting and stay in this one. And we predicted at halftime it was going down to the wire. And you can tell by how they're playing defense. The teams have really scouted the other teams to perfection. Hines, good closeout there, couldn't get a shot off. Into the middle, Hunter, knocked away, ball's free. And a tie-up. It looks like IU Kokomo may have got a timeout in before the officials whistled for the tie-up. Yeah, that's what they have. Now, they did get the timeout in, but, I mean, you have to weigh the options. Is that worth losing a valuable timeout for a three-second possession. Mm -hmm. There's three seconds on the shot clock. Now, Eric Eckelberg's grabbing that clipboard. He said, watch this one, baby. I'm drawing one up here. 
And uh, you see the Texas assistants, they're looking down there, making sure no substitutions come into the game. So what are we guessing here, Jake? We're guessing, I'm going to tell you right now, porch. Now you help me. Which one's been flying over the basket, porch or white? That's or, white. Okay, white. Look for white, maybe on some type of lob or flash to the opposite block. And then second, boy, I don't, I can't see West Virginia Tech messing up on this. Uh, but you can look for the shooter, Xavier Hines, maybe coming off a pick after he sets a pick. I'd look for one of those two things here. You know Eric Echelbarger will go deep into his bag of tricks. Indiana Kokomo's winningest all-time head coach, 106 and 26. Oh, great winning percentage. And, you know, if you don't get a good look here, you wasted your time out. Now, you may not get a bucket. But, you, you know, if you're going to use that timeout, you got to have something up your sleeve to get a good look. And the way they're looking here, I look for a pick for uh, Harris going the opposite block and then 24 coming off the pick of 33 here. There's, there's double pick. There's your lob. Lob into Harris, taken away, and it's in the hands of Diop. Good job by Diop. Great job by George Wilburn of stopping the OB. That's a big play right there. Shoveled over to Smithers. Now back up top, Martin has it. Going right at Harris, and that's erased. And Harris with a shot, <laughs> with a block shot. He's doing it all. Off the fingertips and out of play. DeMyers couldn't haul it in. Empty possession for yeah. IU Kokomo. Boy, and those empty possessions kill you. Uh, unforced turnovers, and Eric Eckeberg are not happy with that. Noah Harris right now, 13 points, three rebounds, two blocks, five of five from the field. And he's holding his wrist there like that injury. They, they have to help. Can't guard him one-on-one. -on -one. Parker right to the <laughs> cup and puts it in. Yeah, can't guard him one-on-one. -on -one. You know, but if you help, you're helping off of a three-point shooter. So you pick your poison. Great job by Parker. Good job by Tech getting him an isolation play. Three-point lead for the Golden Bears halfway through this second half. Yeah, that play doesn't work if you don't have outside shooters on the court. They go back to Harris, 13 points, five in this half, no good on that hook. Parker waving everyone off, wanting the isolation. Parker. Nice. Left off to Martin, and Martin can't finish. Right down the lane, Hunter takes it home. Julian Hunter with the slam. I don't know what the, they're stopping the contest here for. What happened? Well, behind the play, Ashton Parker looked like he rolled his ankle and was slow to get up, and I thought they were going to take him out for an injury timeout. And what he's telling them, yeah, I don't know why the ref stopped it there. You know, Tech is without the whole year. Thomas Haley's their best player, mm -hmm. and he hasn't played this year. And Will Hill hit six threes in the game earlier this year. I'm sorry, seven for eight. He hit six the first half, and he's been out for about three weeks now. Work hanging and gets fouled. That'll be free throws coming up for Andrew Work. Isn't it a – a great luxury when you can post up your point guard. <laughs> I mean, and when he hangs in the air, he draws the contact. And uh, I mean, it's like having a power forward who has mm -hmm. the ability to bring the ball up the court and run your team. And not a lot of players, as that rattles in off the front iron, not a lot of players invite contact right. these days. He invites the contact. He is, and he did last year, but he wasn't a good free throw shooter. So there, you don't want that. Now this year, he's, after tonight, he'll be at 75%. You definitely want that. Yes. <coughs> the second rattles home as well. White has it on the wing. Oh. Right to the rim, but blocked away. He gets it back. Hanging. No. Ball's Deep. free, and Tech has it. Parker with great defense. Wow. They have locked off the interior, 
West Virginia Tech's defense shining in this second half. Work back outside to King. Step back three. Too short. But the offensive board pulled down. Work again. Making those little plays, winning plays. Few, fifth fewest offensive rebounds in the country. It doesn't matter. West Virginia Tech, a new 20, and it's already down inside 10. Now this is how IU Kokomo got started last half. They got some transition and transition threes, and the Tech able to get back and stop those. The drive waved off and a whistle underneath for the foul. Golden Bears will bring Saliu Diop back in, the freshman out of Senegal. 22nd in the country in blocks, had a, had a couple big ones today. Yes, he has. That's his role and he enjoys his role. He likes being the shot blocker. White back outside. Reinhardt thought about the three. Mid-range jumper. Wow. Porch from the baseline. Porch was fading back when he caught the ball. Not an easy shot. Porch really giving work a lot of room. You see how Porch is playing work inside the paint? That's when you set a ball pick for one of your shooters by work. There's nobody left to switch it. Work turns the corner, kisses it off the window. And Work's done a great job of going at, at the defender, even though the defender's playing off of him. Great job, Andrew Work. Timeout taken by the Cougars. Eric Eckelbarger wants to talk things over, and we'll take a break with them. Three-point lead for West Virginia Tech. Seven minutes remaining in this game. Time is upon us, and hometown Kia of Beckley wants to make your Christmas red, white, and green this year. Green in savings on a new Kia at Hometown Kia. Reindeer aren't a dependable form of transportation anymore, but an all-new Kia Telluride is. Right now, the staff at Hometown Kia are ready to step up and help Santa make your Christmas bright with a purchase or lease on a new Kia. Don't let the Grinch steal your Christmas savings. Keep that money in your stocking this year. Savings this big won't fit in Santa's bag. So you need to get out to Hometown Kia today or online at hometownkia.com. Here at the Cracker Barrel, homestyle food and great value go hand in hand with favorites like slow simmered chicken and dumplings starting at $7.99 or perfectly golden fluffy buttermilk pancakes with your own bottle of warm syrup. Come fill up on favorites without emptying your wallet. Back here in the Raleigh County Convention Center. Good one developing inside seven. It's a three-point lead for West Virginia Tech. Kokomo coming out of a timeout, getting into a continuity offense. Down low, porch turned away by Diop. Diop said, get off my porch, baby. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> I thought porch had the jump hook in the middle of the lane. He took an extra dribble and that brought the shot blocker into the equation. Work drives and gets tripped up by Porch. He took a hard fall to the hardwood and he's yeah. slow to get up. They need him on the court right now. I would just like to one time see Work set a ball pick for Bryce Radford near the three point line because his man's in the paint. Radford would come right off of that ball pick and be looking at an open three. Work went face first onto the hardwood after getting tripped up. I think he wanted a little break before he shot the fast <laughs> He's well, I've known that boy since he was four. It'd take more than that hardwood to hurt him. Tough kid. <clears throat> one and one front end missed yeah. you know that's an invisible turnover missing that front end of a one and one here's porch for three off the back iron three pointers just not falling like they did in the first half now five for 15 today yeah. 
the yeah, porch just looks like an inside out player that can do multiple things. I, I really like him. Solid player. Radford gets it back. Well, Radford hadn't had a shot in a long time. He's going to get one here. Shot clock down to three. Radford pulls and gets fouled. Wow. Just a savvy veteran move to use the up and the under. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't have anywhere to go. And I think he's going to get to the line for three. The referees are talking about it. He may get there for three. Timeout taken here. While they figure it out, we'll head to a quick break. It's a West Virginia Tech three-point lead. General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. That's nearly 50 years of providing those essential needs for your daily journey. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. We know these last couple years haven't been easy, but with every sunrise and sunset, you keep us going. To the LG family, the moms, dads, sisters, brothers, sons, and daughters of West Virginia, thank you. Back inside the Raleigh County Convention Center, a three-point lead for West Virginia Tech. It looked like, Bob, at the start, at least in that first half, we, we saw 69 combined points. Right now, just 32 combined. The defense has really locked in in the second half. It has. Both teams, you could tell, is from scouting report. They've studied each other. They know the strengths and weaknesses, and both teams doing a good job of that. And Jake, I'm just getting confused. You have updates coming in from all these different places on all these different uh, machines we have here, but we're <laughs> going to get them all straight. Uh, but no, that's that is so accurate. You know, Tech's up 19 to 13 this half, and there's only 5:43 to go. You'd have told me they could hold Kokomo to 13 points the first 14 minutes of this second half. I may have argued with you every once in a while. And the first free throw made by Bryce Radford. Radford said, boy, I haven't I got to take a shot since warm-ups at <laughs> halftime. Those free throws kind of hard to get up there. Not for a shooter. A shooter can wake up at 6 a.m., not stretch, and knock free throws down. And for clarification, he will shoot three free throws. Here's the third, makes all three. There was some confusion at that about the half between the – or at the break between the officials. So three free throws made. Meanwhile, around the River States Conference, Rio Grande has taken down Oakland City. Here's Hines with the three, no. And Harris gets fouled underneath. Yeah, Kokomo ran a beautiful set to get Hines that three. And it's at 0 for 4, 0 for 5 this half. And, uh, I mean, that was as good a look as you can get there. Indiana Southeast has beaten Midway 82-66, or in about to beat Midway 82-66, has not officially gone final yet. This will put Harris at the free throw line. Give him 14 tonight. I'm glad I'm not coaching. I might illegally recruit him after the game. <laughs> <laughs> Harris is not a great, great game by the young man. It's, it's, it's nice when you see somebody's breakout game, and this is his. And then I'll look at the stat sheets next week just to see how he did in the, in the games right after this one. This is the second, one of two on that trip to the line. I mean, zero points the last three games? My goodness. He has 14 tonight, and it's against good defense. Right. <clears throat> Five of six from the field is Harris. They let Radford shoot those free throws. Oh. Just skims it off the yeah. rim. A run out, up ahead. Hunter slams it on the break. Yeah, Hunter, wow, what elevation. Good no call by the official, hanging on the rim. Couldn't take a chance on the injury. Great outlet pass by Kokomo. Martin, kick over, finds Smithers no good. Boy, he's had two good looks from the same spot right there. Both of them looked like they were in. Hines pulls up. That won't drop. Six straight misses for Xavier Hines. 
Seems like he's in Pittsburgh at Heinz Field when it's cold. It's not cold outside. Yeah, not hitting him. Not hitting him in the second half, and he's a big time shooter. That ball knocked away. Diop oh. goes diving uh -huh. for it, and that would be backcourt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ball wasn't tipped, and Diop got it on this side of half court. Now Tech is asking if the ball was tipped. That's what Rafford's asking. If it wasn't backcourt, it would have been walking. So one or the other, but I would ask about it too. George Wilmore, first year as head coach, but third at West Virginia Tech, was an assistant under Coach Long. And talked about that in the preseason. He said Coach Long, a tremendous mentor, taught us to care, bought into the power of people. It's more than basketball uh, as a whistle and a foul. I believe, I believe they're giving Harris, giving him the bucket on a goaltending. Harris exploded to the basket. Yep, uh, calling goaltending against uh, West Virginia Tech. So I mean, count the basket. Yes, count the basket yeah, yeah, officially. 50, yeah, 54, okay. Lead I, down to one. Yeah, I think the ball had hit the backboard first and can't take it off the backboard. That's 16 for Harris. Here's Diop and a whistle and a foul on Harris. That's yeah. been an interesting battle between those two. It has, and... Uh, Diop turned to the basket, got scraped across both arms. Officials right on top of him. Now Diop's got to go to that free throw line. Uh, he's in the double bonus. So. A 59% shooter from the stripe is Diop. When the PA announcer sounds, it just sounds like a player, don't it? Sal Diop. <laughs> Hey, he has really grown leaps and bounds. He's improved so much from last year. Uh, just great personality off the court. You can see it with his teammates. And when you said that about building the culture, he got that from James Long. A lot of coaches say that. Right. George Wilmore does it. Yes. Culture is a huge thing for this program, and, and it's been very good to him, and they've been successful. Diop made the second, so he split the pair. They go down low to Porch near block. Harris had it at the free throw line, and it was knocked away. His defender failed. He didn't pivot and look at the basket. White will turn the corner. Shot clock inside five, and it's thrown away. Oh, my goodness. White gets fouled on the way up after the interception. Heads up play by Hunter White. Wow, he just acted like he was going back. Snuck in front of the defender. Big time play by White. That will put Hunter White at the stripe. Had a double-double earlier this year against Mount Vernon Nazarene. The first off the mark. Almost a double-double tonight. 12 points, nine rebounds, five assists. You want to talk about a stat sheet stuffer, Bob? Yeah, he is. And... Uh... See, I, I've enjoyed him. I enjoy watching him. Boy, he plays the game right. Oh, but two missed free throws, an invisible turnover with 3.14 to go in the game. Those kind of plays kill you. Free throws have not gone the way of IU Kokomo. Just 7 for 17 today. It's a two-point tech lead. Parker off the bounce. Oh, the runner goes. Well, he loves floating to the left, shooting that right. Right there, if, if Tech's able to win this game, those two missed free throws and that play on the other end. But there he comes back. That's what white a again. Finish. Man, he can get to the basket. Took the bump, still finished with the contact. A timeout called. That slices the lead back down to two for Tech. A good one brewing here inside the convention center, Bob. Yeah, as we see white with the finish. Wow, good defense by Tech, but better offense. We'll head back to break. 58-56 lead for the Golden Bears. Former college football player, I realized that sports-related injuries can happen real fast. Hello, I'm Dr. Gross. If your child or grandchild is dealing with sports-related injuries, or maybe you're dealing with something that just won't go away, Call me today and I can help you get back on the playing field. 
To better serve you, see us at one of our three locations in Beckley, Whipple, and Sophia at the numbers listed below. So take care of yourself. You deserve it. A two-point West Virginia Tech lead here inside the Raleigh County Convention Center. Uh, said it right before the break, Bob. A good one brewing. It's been good all evening, and this is shaping up to be a stellar finish. Yeah. I tell you what, all the people that showed up for this game will be back. And I know they have a lot of the middle school teams here. I see Trap Hills across from me. And today was a big school day. And then they had Independence State Championship football team here. Well, a lot of people got to see Tech for the first time. They'll be back because this has been a great basketball game. And tell your friends, too, bring yeah. them by because it has been a great one. There's some good basketball that's played in the River States Conference. There it is. And we're seeing the best game of the day here today. Here's Parker with the top of the key. Bullets one to the corner. Smithers, no good. Well, Kokomo took a chance and doubled off of their man. And that's what Tech wants. And they got the shot they wanted, looking to put the nail in the coffin, not to be. Kokomo has a chance to tie it up. And oh my goodness. That's five for Ashton Parker. He will finish with 12 points on six of seven shooting, three rebounds. And Bob, that's a big loss for West Virginia Tech down the stretch. Well, that's who they're going to. They're going to him one-on-one -on -one and trying to get people off their shooters. Now they can't do it. See if they go with Diop coming out to pick for Radford. Or I, I would like to see work picking for him, but let's see what they do here. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. And that one hit the back of the rim, went up in the rafters, and uh, I think one of Coach Eckelberger's former family members tipped that one in. Wow. Well, they may be on the road, but Porch just got the friendly home yes, bounce on the did. free throw and, and my, then cans the second. Yeah, all nets on the second one. Fitting, tied up at 58. 58 all here in Beckley, West Virginia. Buckle up. About two minutes and change to go. The all-time series is tied. This game is tied. Who will take over? Back to work. He leads this team with 16. Hangs and hits. So get out of my weight room. A chance to convert the three-point play. Andrew doing work. Yes, that's a weight room bucket there. And he does that with so much confidence. Uh, able to get in there, draw the contact, finish, and get rewarded at the line. 18.6 rebounds on 7 of 11 shooting, make it 19. That's a huge play. Now Tech showing their 3-2 zone, changing up. They got to watch out for Xavier Hines. They like to find him in the corner against this 3-2 zone. Harris underneath to Porch, who's fouled on the rip through. Yeah, yeah, work has to let him land there on the catch. Now, it's not the worst foul in the world because this is the last time of this game that either team will shoot a one and one. And the work just kind of sliding under, put that right hip out. But uh, Porch going to the line, one and one. Nine rebounds, seven, or excuse me, 9.7 rebounds, I should say, for a 70% free throw shooter in Porch. Makes the front end of the one and one. Big free throws. I love these close games. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> didn't, I'm not so well coaching it. I think that's when I would get the most calm, is when the game was real tight. But from an announcer standpoint, they are fun. Second one rattles around. That's what's so impressive. Both these coaches have full heads of hair, and they play in games like this yeah, all the time. That won't last long. <laughs> I, just, I just got good hair, Jake. Let's see what Tech does here. They're going to go to work on clear outs. There they go. Now they're helping off a of Diop. Work to the corner. Here's King off the <laughs> rim. Boy, and that's Tech's game. That's, that's the shot they wanted, unable to convert. A chance to take the lead for IU Kokomo. Inside 90 seconds to go. Oh. Hines connects on the oh. three. Xavier Hines, you saw him clapping for the ball. 
Tech in the zone. Hines found the crease, knocks it down. Our fifth lead change of the night comes with a minute to go. Back over to work from Radford. Work driving. Lost the handle. And a jump ball called. It'll stay here with West Virginia Tech. Now, Jake, the shot clock stays at five, or do they change it on that hill ball? Yeah, I think hill ball, when the offense has it, uh, it, it stays here with five seconds. We'll stay here with this one, Jake. Yeah, Let's see is... what's going on here. So five seconds to shoot here. Bob, I'll ask you to put your coaching hat back on. What are you drawing up here if you're in this huddle? Well, I'm, I'm sure they would love to get one of their three-point shooters a shot coming off of some type of pick. But Kokomo has done a great job of stopping that. And they, they may just post Andrew work up on the low block and let him get it in that corner. He'll already be 10 feet from the basket and let him go one-on-one. -on -one. That's what I'm guessing, Jake. I'm not saying that's what I would do, but that's what I'm guessing. And now will Kokomo change and put a bigger defender on work? I mean, that's what they've done about three Alabama's play. They've thrown the ball to work in the short corner. With only five seconds, that seems logical of what they'll do. And if I was Kokomo, I would try to put a bigger defender on work. Uh, let, let's see what happens here. Oh, it's sideline. I'm sorry. I thought they were going out of bounds. Sideline out of bounds. Okay. Five seconds to shoot here for West Virginia Tech. Into Radford. Radford stops. Pops and connects. What a shot. Fake handoff to work. Radford, they've had D on him all night. Makes a big play. Sixth lead change. Tech takes a one-point advantage. And IU Kokomo needs time. Watch the fake handoff. Radford faked the handoff. Got the mid-range, knocks it down. What a finish this is shaping up to be. Jake, a 10-second differential here between the shot and game clock. So you need about an 18-second differential to go two for one. So Kokomo really can't go two for one here. Not enough time to get a good shot. If you run it down and take your shot with 10, chances are you'll get a bad shot. So Kokomo just needs to play their normal offense and uh, just take it from there. 40.7 seconds left. West Virginia Tech a one point lead. We've had six lead changes and four ties. Yeah, look, look for Porch on the drive. Some people questioning the score, and that's what the official scoreboard has it. Well, here they go. White gets it over to Hines. A huge three moments ago for Hines, but the Cougars still trail. White trapped underneath. Lays oh. it in off the window. Oh, he gave a fake back out. Wow, what a... That was a street ball move. Tech going for the win, last shot. Shot clock is off. Andrew Work has 19 to lead the Golden Bears. Radford has it in his hands. Radford with a ball pick, looking for the game winner. They get it back to Work. Work drives, loses the handle. IU Kokomo will win it. Wow, what a defensive play by Kokomo to end a tremendous basketball game. Defense wins it for IU Kokomo. They walk off winners 64-63. Jake, what a game. Incredible finish. That saw three lead changes within the final minute and a half, and IU Kokomo picks up a huge win 
They've now won four straight games, five and one in their last six, Bob. Wow, Kokomo, big time road win. I got the feeling we'll see these two teams again with a little bit more on the line. IU Kokomo improves to nine and one in the West Division and River State's conference play. Still a game behind Rio Grande for the league lead. As for West Virginia Tech, they've had won 21 straight conference home games. The last team to beat them was IU Kokomo. IU Kokomo ends that streak today. I'll tell you what, Eric, Eric Eckelberger does a great job with that team, You know, as does George Wilmore. I mean, two great teams. Your first game on video production. Come on, man. You don't deserve to get this one. What a game. What an incredible finish. IU Kokomo gets 16 from Noah Harris and Hunter White, 11 from Porch. Hunter White, another double-double. Ten or more points for Hunter White, and now 14 straight games. Kokomo improves to 15-5 and five overall. Golden Bears drop to 11-9. and nine. Golden Bears will hit the road for four straight games. Meanwhile, IU Kokomo back at home to face Carlo. Bob, your thoughts on tonight's game? Uh, I thought it was a great basketball game. Uh, both teams played at an extremely high level. And it came down to the end. Kokomo made the play at the end, got the turnover. It looked like work was getting close to the basket, a chance to draw a foul or hit the game winner, and the quick hands of Kokomo knocked it away. I don't think West Virginia Tech has anything to drop their heads about. Kokomo may be the best team in the league. West Virginia Tech just went blow for blow with them. I expect to see, I mean, these two teams were in the championship last year. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them back there again this year. Julian Hunter picks up a steal on the Andrew Work Drive. Seven steals today for Kokomo. None bigger than that to seal it for the Cougars for Bob Bolin, I'm Jake Griffith saying so long from the Raleigh County Convention Center. A barn burner today sees IU Kokomo walk off winners.